into this big box so I can send them on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly believe your dream is taking flight, so to speak. I'm so happy for you, Shuzi. I mean, you really deserve this. Ah, yeah, Bonga, Andy. Hey, but now the hard work is starting. <laughs> You're right, Shuzi. Now you have a big responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me now, what can I do for you this afternoon? Hey, Andy. Mr. Naidu, he said I must pack all these small boxes into the big box. Now, I don't know how many big boxes I'm going to need. Mm, let me see. I think the best way to do it is to just pack one big box and see how many little boxes will fit into it. And then, we calculate how many big boxes you'll need in total. Yes, Auntie. Hey, that's a new plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't you go and get all the arrangements made for it to be sent? And I'll sort out this in no time. <laughs> ah, bonga, and hey, I have to try it now. But I'll see you later. Okay, Andy. I've got to get some big boxes. And I have three crates of these boxes that I have to pack into the big box so I can send them off to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Shuzi. I'll have it all figured out for you in no time. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. It's very hard work to run a successful business. And poor Shuzi is already feeling the strain. <laughs> but it is always the worst the first time. After this, it will all get easier. I think Shuzi is feeling a little stressed. That is why it's very good to have someone to help. And I'm happy to help. And Lebo will be here just now. And I think she can help too. <laughs> Hi, Nips. Hi, Auntie. Hi, Copano. Aren't these the boxes we fold as Shuzi's Christmas decorations? Mm, yes, it is. Are we going to pack some more for him? Shuzi does need some packing done. But this time, it is to pack all of these into big boxes so that they can go onto plane and be taken to USA and the UK. But how can we fit all of those little boxes into that one box? That's what I offered to figure out for him. How many small boxes will fit into one big box? Then he can work out how many big boxes he needs to buy. Can Kabana and I help? <laughs> that would be very nice of you girls. <laughs> Let me join you on the blanket. Oh, there's Baba Opa. Baba Opa! Oh, would you two mind starting off? I'll be right back. Okay, Auntie. Okay. <laughs> so all we have to do is pack the big box and count all the little boxes as we pack them. When the big one is full, we'll know how many little boxes we use to fill the big one up. Shop, let's start. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. This box is going to take more of the boxes than I thought it would take. Yeah, I thought it would be nearly full by now. Oh, no! I've lost count again. <sighs> Perhaps you should pack this side of the box, and I'll pack that side of the box. And when we're done, we can add up the number of boxes we each packed. Okay. And how many little boxes are there? I packed 18 boxes. And I packed 18 boxes. 
So that's 18 boxes plus 18 boxes and that's 36 boxes. So now we can tell shoes that 36 little boxes can fit into each large box. Well done girls and thank you. It's a pleasure auntie, but we had to start over a couple of times because we lost count half the way. <laughs> well, there's a quicker way you could do it next time without having to risk losing count. Now you tell us. <laughs> so tell us auntie, what's the shortcut? Well, we can just start by counting how many are in one layer. So please pass me the small boxes. I'll show you. Okay. Yes. And the last one. Oh, good. You see? I see where you're going with this. We can easily count the number of boxes in each layer. Do you still remember the shortcut, my girls? Yeah, boy. Yes, auntie. You just count how many there are along the length here. And that's four boxes. And then you count how many there are across the width here. And that's three boxes. So then you say four multiplied by three. And that's 12 boxes in one layer. Let's just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, twelve boxes in one layer. <laughs> and then we just need to work out how many layers we need. Oh, but how do we do that without packing all the layers onto each other? Well, I'll show you. We could just pile boxes on top of one box. Pass me the boxes there. Thank you. Like this. So that the one at the bottom is one, two, three. So, you see, we need three layers of boxes. And there are 12 boxes in each layer. So that's three layers of 12 boxes. And that's three times 12. It's 36 boxes altogether. Sure, that was definitely quicker than what Lemon I just did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, girls. Do you know what you have just done here? Has it got one of those fancy math stuff names, Auntie? <laughs> Actually, yes. Now listen. The space that something takes up is called its volume. And here, we've just worked out that. This pile has a volume of 36 small boxes. You see? Because all these little boxes are the same size, we call them cubic units. In other words, we can say that this pile has a volume of 36 cubic units. Cube what? Cubic units, my girl. <laughs> oh, yes! The little boxes are cubes. Each face is a square. Oh, Lebu, you have a good memory. It's been a while since we talked about that. Just goes to show that once you have learned something, it's there somewhere in your head. All you have to do is look for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad my brain can hold all this stuff. <laughs> uh, Auntie, are you saying that we can work out the volume of any pile of boxes using this method? Oh, uh, let me explain it like this, Copan.
you might feel unsure or even scared But don't worry, you can do it, think of what I said No matter how they stack it, it can be sky high Doing it this way, it's so easy, it's as easy as fun Come on, come on, cross, come on, how high Finish your counting hand, mighty fly That's very easy to work out the volume. No matter how small or big the stacks or group of object is, as long as you know the cubic units, we can work it out. Wicked! So now we can tell shoes how many little boxes can fit into each big box and how many big boxes he needs to buy to pack all the little ones. <laughs> I think it's Tommy and Danka just in time for us to take a little break. Yeah, my brain's feeling a little tired now. Let's go and see what they're up to. Okay. <laughs> Remember what the boss said. We must use the right amount of potting soil for our plants because they are going to use the rest for those big plant boxes outside. So we better get on with it before they come and fetch the soil. How are we going to do it, man? And how will I know how much salt you take? <laughs> Not to worry, Choma. The boss gave me this. A present! How is a present going to help us? It is not a present, you dumb cop. It's an empty box we are supposed to use to fill up the pot. But it's not the same size as the pot. This is some stupid. <laughs> Just chill, Joma. Let me explain. The boss worked out exactly how many of these boxes full of soil each pot needs. Yeah. Look. He wrote it down on this piece of paper. Oh, you mean this is the cubic unit. <laughs> now, all you have to do is measure the right amount of soil using this box and fill up the pot. Me? Why am I always doing all the work? Yes, Choma, I'm going to fetch the plants we are going to plant in here, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Just checking, you know? I just don't like the idea of you getting a present and me not getting one. Present! What present? There are no presents! Presents, 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 presents. Presents, presents. Hey, Choma, what have you been doing since I was gone? This pot is not even half full. Dana, don't start with me. Do you know how difficult it is to carry the soil from there to there without spilling any soil and not losing count? <laughs> if you can do it better, show me. Okay, Choma, don't be so uptight. Look, why don't you use the wheelbarrow? <laughs> the set is already over there. Bring it over here and fill up the pot. Oh. Now you have all the right ideas. Why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the only way of measuring cubic units to fill up the volume. <laughs> yeah, but Chum is always making more work than he needs to. I suppose that is just his way. Speaking of work, I've got stacks of homework to do, so I'd better go. Okay, Kopano, thank you for all your help today. Okay, Auntie. Bye, Auntie. Bye, Libs. Bye, Kopano. Don't be late tomorrow. Oh, perfect timing. There's Frustex. Jumela, Auntie. Hello, Frustex. <laughs> Hello, Lebo. Hello, Uncle Stax. And uh, what have you been doing today? Well, she's asked us to help him figure out how many big boxes he'll hmm. need to pack all the little Christmas decorations. Hmm. First, we counted all the little boxes, then Auntie showed us the school shortcut, how to work out the volume of things, but first, you must know the cubic units, and then... 
<laughs> well, you don't have to tell me everything in one breath. You can tell me the rest in the taxi. Get your bag, we need to go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, bye, Auntie. And remember to tell Shoes that 36 little boxes can fit into each big one. I'll remember that. Mm. And thank you for your help, Lips. Mm. I'm sure Shoes will also appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Lips. <laughs> bye, Brastic. Drive safely. Shop, shop. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye bye. Bye, Auntie. <laughs> I better get going. I still need to find shoes to let him know how many big boxes he needs to buy to send his decorations overseas. You know what? He's got a lot of work to do. So, you better get cracking with the packing. From me, see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> Thinking around.